tragic story involving police brutality makes its way to the headlines. A video has surfaced of police officers in Fullerton, California, beating and tasing a homeless man so severely he fell into a comatose state on July 5th of this year. They say Thomas was kicked, tasered multiple times, hogtied face down, smashed against the concrete. His head slammed with a flashlight. Thomas fell into a coma and died from his injuries five days later. Greetings, citizens of Fullerton, California. Like the rest of the world, we have heard the screams of Kelly Thomas. We heard him scream, Stop, sorry, and finally, Dad. Since then, we have been rallying troops to help this great cause. Whether it be spreading messages on IRC or tweeting, we have had a great reception from our anonymous brothers and sisters. This is not just a brutal attack against another human being, but an attack against human rights. For too long the public has accepted the spin from the police. Already they have begun libeling him by publishing documents about his mental illness to sway support towards the police. At the same time, the videos from the cruisers and the surveillance camera, which could instantly alibi their officers is still yet to be released. What is it that they are trying to hide? Why is it that former Florida police chief sit on the city council? Who is it conducting the investigation? The DA who uses testimonies from the same officers as truth to put criminals in jail. Also, what about the 2008 charges brought against Officer Albert Rankin for sexually abusing two women in the back of his squad car? Ironically enough, the city of Fullerton offered them $7,500 in a settlement. They also offered $900,000 to the father of Kelly Thomas, who rightfully and morally rejected the offer. This is very unsettling to say the least. It is clear that while the police try to stonewall the public, the city is willing to use taxpayer funds as hush, and in this case, blood money. The government of Fullerton, like the city of Sodom and Gomorrah clearly has a broken moral compass, and as such will be smitten from the interwebs as our fleet draws near. We will begin to treat the web assets of the police, city government, and any other targets we deem in support or a cause of this incident with as much mercy as was shown to Kelly Thomas. He may have been silenced, but his screams will live on forever, and we will join him as Operation Fullerton. Anonymous and the world hereby make the following demands. First, we demand the prosecution of officers J. Sicily, Kenton Hampton, Manny Ramos, Joe Wolf, James Blatney, and anyone else involved in the gruesome beating, torture, and murder of Kelly Thomas. Second, we demand the immediate resignation of the Chief of Police in Fullerton, California. Third, we demand that the City of Fullerton immediately pay lump sum settlement of no less than $5 million to the legal survivors of Kelly e. Thomas. Until these demands are met, you can expect two things. First, your city will be the target of rolling street protests and occupations of public space. And you can expect anonymous, we now officially launch Operation Fullerton. We will begin dismantling the city of Fullerton's interwebs starting tomorrow at high noon Pacific time. We will remove from the World Wide Web the site belonging to the Fullerton Police Department located at this URL, and in addition we will black fax and email bomb every inbox at the Fullerton City Police Department. This cyber action by Anonymous will be accompanied by a protest on the ground tomorrow. This is only the beginning. We will slowly but surely begin attacking the web assets of the city of Fullerton, until we have dismantled your web and taken from you all your communications channels. And if our demands are still not met, we will widen the circle to include many other websites and organizations in Fullerton. We are anonymous. We are everywhere. We are legion. We never forget. We never forgive. Expect us.